Well guys, I did a video telling you guys why you should buy a dually and why it should be your first and last truck you should purchase today. I'm gonna tell you why you probably shouldn't buy one and the biggest drawback to towing with one. And you heard me correctly, I did say drawback to towing with a dually. There is a drawback. Nobody talks about this and you're gonna hear about it in this video. Now, the very first thing that you have to consider when you're looking at a dually is how hard it is to park one. Let me demonstrate it really quickly. Really quickly, be sure to subscribe to JB Reviews and make sure you have those bell notifications on. And be sure to check out my other channel, Attainable Exotic Cars. Now let's get back to the video. Have you ever been driving around a parking lot looking for a place to park and you can't find it? And then you find one and then it's the worst parking spot to try to get into. I'm gonna demonstrate it really quickly for you. All right, so when you're driving a truck this big, pulling in is your death wish. You're probably not gonna be able to pull something this big into a parking space, especially this tight. And the reason why is because those wide hips there are going to come in a little bit sooner than the front. So what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to take that rump that you have, that big old rump, you're gonna to to put that bad boy in first, just like this. It's a big booty, just saying here. You gotta back that thing up. You gotta back it up. All right, I'm gonna show it to you guys here. Don't depend on these cameras too, by the way. That can get you into some trouble. Let me straighten up a little bit. All right, here we go. Oh man, that's perfect. Man, this is tight. This is tight. But I think I got it in there. All right, we're in. So, see the line on this side? And the line on this side, we're like perfect. See? Now here's the problem. Any long bed truck you buy, whether it be dual rear wheel or single rear wheel, you're gonna have this issue. But no matter what dual you buy from Ford and Chevy, this is the problem you're gonna have. You're really gonna have an issue finding a place to park this big beast. And keep in mind real quickly, if you are looking to buy a truck this big, if you do wanna park this in the garage, this is a big truck. I mean, you're gonna need at least a 25 foot or even bigger garage, maybe even a slightly longer, to fit something like this in the garage because if you don't wanna to have to clean this thing so often, yeah, having a garage would help with that. So I would just keep that in mind too. Here's the next thing that you're gonna have an issue with. You know how I told you in the last video, you have a 14,000 pound GVWR, you're gonna have so much payload, it's gonna be really hard to find a trailer you can't tow. Well, guess what? That 14,000 pounds, it comes at a cost. A lot of people don't know this, but your registration is going to almost double in some cases, depending on what state you are in. So having this beautiful number here, 14,000 pounds, this is gonna really screw you up when it comes down to paying your registration to renew it. Because most states, you know, charge you for these heavier class vehicles. The other issue you're gonna have is when you buy a truck like this, you're gonna pay more in insurance because this is considered a commercial vehicle. Now, obviously most people who are buying these, you're not gonna necessarily need to get a commercial you know, insurance or anything like that, but your insurance is still gonna classify this as a commercial vehicle, especially because it's built for towing. The other issue is because it has such a high GVWR, that means your trailer is gonna to have to be a lot less. Isn't that crazy? Funny how these things work out. What I mean by that is there's a 26,000 pound, or should I say 26,001 pound, and I wanna leave that one pound out for you. If you go over that, you may have to get a CDL license. Now most states, and I would say majority, will allow you to get a non-CDL. That way you can put it on the side of your truck not for hire, because with that higher GVWR, if you go over 26,000 pounds, that means you only can tow 12,000 pound trailer. And if you go over 12,000 pounds, you'll be over 26,000 pounds, right? So you have to keep these things in mind because maybe a bigger trailer is not what you really want, even though this truck can tow it. All right, so I'm pulling out of this parking spot. 
So I gotta pull out all the way and then start turning so I don't forget about those rear hips. Now, something that Ram does, check this out, I love Ram. They did include some sensors for that wide hip. So if you are backing up, you can kind of see the lines. Uh, there might be a glare here. Let me see, let me see if I can get close. Actually, I'm not close enough, I'm too far. It's just nerve-wracking trying to back into a car on purpose. It's, it's not my truck, so it makes me a little scared. Now, let me make sure the parking sensor, okay, the parking sensors are on. There it is. All right, so you can see right there, you see that, you see that one line beeping? Those sensors are there to help with the dual rear wheel hips because in the past, you would be backing in and your sensors would never come on because the rear of the bumper cleared, but those sides, your fender flares on the side, all that has not yet. So Ram did add that for 2019 and up trucks. Whew. I think I'm talking a lot of people back out of a dually. You might want to get a smaller trailer or a travel trailer. The next thing is obviously going to be probably the most important thing for a lot of people and that's drivability. So we're going to get on the road here and we're gonna see how stiff this bad boy is. All right, we're heading into town. Whew. Having those overload leaf springs makes a big difference. It's not so bad, right? It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And I've said this in the past, having a dually has gotten a lot better. A lot better. I mean, if you're comparing trucks from 20 years ago, a dually back then was the worst option to have. But today, they have gotten considerably better than they have been. So we're gonna find some rough roads here and see how uncomfortable it is. And I will give you my honest God opinion too. This is stiffer than my 3500 single rear wheel for sure. I mean, there's, it's, it's tight. It's a tight suspension. Um, let's see, I'm about to go over a train track right now. Oh wow, oh wow, yeah, it's stiff. Um, I think that most people could live with this day to day, but I think for most people, they wouldn't want to. So you probably would have to buy a second vehicle. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm just used to stiff cars and this is definitely not as comfortable as I would like it to be but it's definitely better than they have been in the past. I think that Ram and Ford and Chevy have really worked out a lot of the kinks in these trucks. But for most people who are used to driving cars and they want to upgrade to this, this would be probably very, very uncomfortable for a lot of trips, especially if you're going unloaded. But with that being said though, if you do have a trailer behind the truck, it does soften up the ride a lot better. All right, now we gotta talk about tires real quick. As you guys know, this has six tires. It's a lot of tires. So that means if you get a flat tire or if you need to change your tires, you have to deal with two additional tires you wouldn't have to on a single rear wheel truck. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, it's stiff. It's a lot stiffer than my truck. <laughs> wow. But yeah, so tires are going to be something that you have to consider. So that's going to be an extra added cost. So you, you got to count the cost when you're buying a dually. It's going to cost you a little bit more money. Now, in the last video, I talked about having a higher axle ratio. If you're not familiar, having a lower axle ratio will help give you better fuel economy. But having a higher one, obviously, is going to affect your fuel economy, right? It's gonna give you more acceleration. So with that being said, expect a dually, especially having more resistance on the ground with more tires, expect it to get worse fuel economy. So if that's something that might be important to you if you're doing a daily driver, this is gonna really hit you at the fuel pump. Have I talked you out of buying a dually after I just talked you into buying one? Just kidding. But let's talk about the biggest drawback with towing with the dually. Now, I've gone camping probably over over 100 times now, or close to it. I live in my RV, if you don't know that. But 
The biggest drawback I found was from talking to people at campgrounds. Multiple guys who've owned single rear wheel, half ton, three quarter tons, dualies, and most of these guys own dualies when I talked to them. They said something that was pretty consistent was confidence. Confidence is the biggest drawback to towing with a dually. And you might be asking, what confidence, what does that have to do with anything? It's really overconfidence is what I'm trying to say. See, in a lot of cases, when you get that first big truck, you tend to drive a little bit faster. You tend to take curves a little bit harder and you tend to drive through stronger winds that you probably normally wouldn't do so with your smaller truck. So I think that a lot of people kind of struggle with you know, having overconfidence in their tow vehicle. So I think that that's something that we should all consider when you are looking to buy a dually. That's the biggest drawback that I could think of was just having too much confidence in your tow vehicle. So you want to be safe 100%. The good news is having this dually, you're going to have the payload number you want. You're going to have the gross axle weight rating number you want. You're going to have the confidence that you want and you're going to have a lot less fatigue or the, I should say fatigue will kick in a lot later on your drive which means even if you are fatigued you know if you do get into a situation where you have to have like a panic you know stop or you have to you know swerve your truck is going to have the confidence that you will definitely need when you know towing with a dually truck but I hope this was helpful thank you guys so much for your support and your time for watching this video and if there was something that you thought would be a big drawback with you know towing with the dually be sure to put it in the comment section see you guys in the next video